You want something like around-the-clock ecstasy. Ecstasies come and go, necessarily. For the human brain cannot stand the tension for a long time. A prolonged ecstasy will burn out your brain unless it is extremely pure and subtle. Only contentment can make you happy. Desires fulfilled breed more desires. Keeping away from all desires and contentment in what comes by itself is a very fruitful state. A precondition to the state of fullness. Don't distrust its apparent sterility and emptiness. Believe me, it is the satisfaction of desires that breeds misery. Freedom from desires is bliss. Your expectation of something unique and dramatic, of some wonderful explosion, is merely hindering and delaying your self-realization. You are not to expect an explosion, for the explosion has already happened at the moment when you were born, when you realized yourself as being, knowing, feeling. There is only one mistake you are making now. You take the inner for the outer and the outer for the inner. What is in you, you take to be outside you. And what is outside, you take to be in you. The mind and feelings are external, but you take them to be intimate. You believe the world to be objective, while it is entirely a projection of your psyche. That is the basic confusion and no new explosion will set it right. You have to think yourself out of it. There is no other way. Of the entire universe, you are the subtle cause. All is because 
you are. Grasp this point firmly and deeply and dwell on it repeatedly. To realize this as absolutely true is liberation. The absolute precedes time. Awareness comes first. A bundle of memories and mental habits attracts attention. Awareness gets focalized and a person suddenly appears. Remove the light of awareness, go to sleep or swoon away and the person disappears. The person flickers. Awareness contains all space and time. The Absolute is. The world is made of rings. The hooks are all yours. Make straight your hooks and nothing can hold you. No experience will hurt you provided you don't make it into a habit. Give up your addictions. There is nothing else to give up. Stop your routine of acquisitiveness, your habit of looking for results, and the freedom of the universe is yours. Be effortless. Don't tell me you cannot control your nature. You need not control it. Throw it overboard. Have no nature to fight or to submit to. When I say, remember I am all the time, I mean, come back to it repeatedly. If you just try to keep quiet, all will come. Must you know everything beforehand?
Don't be anxious about your future. Be quiet now and all will fall in place. The unexpected is bound to happen, while the anticipated may never come. What you need will come to you if you do not ask for what you need. Yet only few people reach this state of complete dispassion and detachment. It is a very high state, the very threshold of liberation. <laughs> 